get together number eight, uh, which is part of our Zoom and series, which we have set up so that we can all virtually meet and also uh, say hello to each other and entertain each other. We are very fortunate to have Shyama Balbir with us this evening. Um, one of the benefits of this lockdown has been that um, people have, um, you know, new interests have developed and gardening is one of these um, passions which have, you know, people have never had the time, but now they've had the time to actually uh, be at home and see how they can, um, you know, grow things. So keeping that in mind, we decided that uh, we should have a session on gardening and who better to have a talk uh, about this than uh, Mrs. Bilbeer, who is an expert in this field. And she's also a resident of the colony. She's familiar. I mean, so many of you know her as well. So Mrs. Bilbeer, a very, very warm welcome to you on behalf of the Vasant Bihar Club. Um, Mrs. Bilbeer is the Vice President of the All India Kitchen Garden Association. She has trained under several star stalwarts of the horticultural world at the All India Kitchen Garden Association, where she is now nurturing and training new members. Mrs. Bilbeer was fortunate to put into practice what she learned at PUSA and all India Kitchen Garden Association on her four and a half acre farm, which we've all heard about being described as Mughal Garden. This gave her an opportunity to experiment and create several growing techniques, which she now teaches to other budding garden, garden enthusiasts. In addition to gardening, Mrs. Bilbeer is proficient in Ikebana. She has a certificate of first master of the Ohara School from Japan. She is the past president and currently an advisor to the Delhi chapter of the Ohara School. Mrs. Balbir has also mastered the art of bonsai and was the president of the India Bonsai Association from 2015 to 2017. During her tenure, an international bonsai convention was held in Delhi. She now teaches the art of bonsai. In addition to all this, she's the secretary of the Chrysanthemum Society of India and has been invited to judge many flower shows. Mrs. Balbir, we are very fortunate to have you with us this evening. Mrs. Bilbeer is also a postgraduate in economics from Delhi School of Economics. Could you tell us about your journey from being an economist to a passionate and accomplished horticulturist? Mrs. Bilbeer. Thank you so much, Sanjana. That was a lot. I don't know. I hope I... I could uh, stop because there... <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Thank you so much. That was a lot in itself. Thank you. Well, uh, to begin with, yes, I, I'm an economist from Delhi School of Economics with Dr. Manmohan Singh, was one of my professors. And uh, we had Amartya Sen taking one of our subjects on logic. So it has been, uh, uh, you know, it's been a wonderful journey, no doubt. But then soon after I got married, then once uh, I'm, I'm still from the old school. So once we got married, uh, the household took over and I lived in a joint family. So I couldn't continue my economics. Then uh, after rearing my two children and my house full of uh, my in-laws, thereafter we had a little garden in, in Basant Vihar itself. And one started off with the help of Mr. Satish Mathur. Uh, he was the uh, you know, supervisor in charge of the Mughal Gardens and of the Rashtrapati Bhavan. Okay. So he was, uh, he, is, he is my mentor, he is my guide and really my guru. And he is the one who started me off and said, hey, join the All India Kitchen Garden Association and then you will learn you know, the techniques of gardening. 
we all have a passion passion is fine then we go killing plants and we wonder why they died and and the rest of it sure. you a lot of us uh, have uh, been through that so we i joined the kitchen garden association where we have basic garden training classes and i joined those classes and believe me there after my journey began soon after anshu bought a four and a half acre plot uh, in dera mandi and uh, one had to i was left to deal with it and it was my baby so i started off by landscaping it where Ma mr mathur was a great help and with him i have done external projects also of uh, de designing people's gardens so any of that land was an absolutely you know it was made uh, it was a bhatte ki zameen so okay. you can imagine all the top soil had already been taken out it had already been used so i had to really begin from scratch from building the top soil which okay. as you know nature takes millions of years to build the top soil Mm -hmm. and now that i am at it i would like to reemphasize that the top 9 inches of your soil in your garden is the most precious soil and that is what we all the conservationists are fighting for and they don't want to lose that top soil so our whole attention now is not only to preserve it and conserve it and we have to see to it that we enrich it also so today my topic uh, is not just you know gardening because yeah it garden you have to begin with the soil mm -hmm. the soil has to be something which is worth working on otherwise like nature took millions of years to develop those top 9 inches right. and we don't have that much time with us so we have to really uh, sort of aid nature and work with it and build this soil so that's what i had to do and i began by a lot of organic and this is where i once again advise everybody to just resort to organic material organic matter and also organic way of growing because <clears throat> now gardening is not you know just about tackling the problems oh i see an insect yes come on now i have to attack that insect and get rid of it and mm. what we tend to do is then we tend to use uh fast methods like we do with ourselves zukam khansi ho gayi are wo thoda sa kahi chhati mein na baith jaye isliye jaldi se antibiotics le lo but the whole idea is not to reach that point so the whole idea as you can see with the today with covid the people who are able to battle it are the ones with a stronger immunity so again nature wants all things to have a strong immunity because it's only the uh, what did darwin say the fittest survival of the fittest so it's the same it's it's the same with the garden your garden will survive only when you will make them strong so it has to begin from scratch so my point is that you develop a good soil what uh, just to give you a small brief on that what this is the best time to make your soil for your pots for anything for this is the best time now here once again i have lots of friends here ratan didi and rashmi rashmi is a great model for this we are developing our own home composting i would like to suggest to everybody to please help the mcd in not using throwing your precious waste from your households but rather to use it and make a compost and you won't believe it i have such rich compost in my house and very little of it goes out in fact if i had my way i would go borrowing it from other people also this is the way it's it's absolutely precious so all your peels all your leftovers even if your dal kharab ho gayi put it in the compost you know kharab kyu ho gayi usme bacteria develop ho gaya now these are all the kind of bacteria which will again help your soil and your soil as it has lot of microbial activity as lot of microbes developing in it friendly microbes they are always friendly microbes the ones that harm your plants won't come if you have plenty of friendly microbes in your soil 
So I have resorted to uh, home composting. I have three bins in which I put these, uh, all my peels and what the, even the leftover flowers from your puja ke room, all that goes into this composting. And you will find out in the beginning, it might take you about two months to develop it. Thereafter, every 15 to 20 days, you'll be developing and you'll be getting such good compost. So what I'm doing is I'm taking out this compost and then over it, I'm putting some cow dung. If you can manage to get it, fine. Otherwise, it F block, the guy who makes all these uh, gamlas and all, I don't know if he's there right now. But you can request anybody who has a dairy, you can request them to give you some uh, cow dung. And you uh, put some cow dung on top of this compost. If you can't get cow dung, also leave it. Don't worry. Put all the soil from your leftover pots. So many of us had seasonals in the winter that got over and the pots are just lying there with very good soil. What has happened to that soil? Only the nutrition has gone out of it. It's very good conditioned soil. So pour all that soil on top of this compost. And if you <clears throat> can manage to get, get some neem khali and a little bit of bone meal. Now I think things have opened up. So you might be able to get them from agricultural shops or gardening shops. Pour it on top of that. And just make a little mound of it. If you have a little uh, space at the back or even if on your terraces, or make a small little mound in one corner and just let it lie for this period of June. You will find the whole, the heat of June will condition this soil and there'll be so much of microbial activity. This is almost, it's not the perfect Amrit Mitti, but it is near to Amrit Mitti. Someday I will tell you what is Amrit Mitti and how to make it. These are organic ways of making your soil. Now on top of that, whenever you find any leaves, anything falling in your garden, just take them and put it on top of this uh, big heap that you have made. Don't let your leaves and your dry material from your garden be taken away by the Mali. This is your treasure. You have to put it back into your garden. So you can prepare soil like this. This is the soil in which there will be so much of, you know, good microbial activity that it will aid your plant to access the nutrients in the soil. There's a lot of nutrient in the soil. Also, you are adding, you're putting gobar ki khad, you're putting, um, I don't suggest okla, by the way. I don't like okla and right now okla is full of chemicals because all the effluents from the various chemical industries is going into the jamna and all that is adding to the chemical. So I don't like okla. I'd rather use just my compost and gobar ki khad. Now gobar ki khad also please be very uh, sure that you get good uh, decomposed and how do you recognize that? You have to see that if it has any lumps in it. Just take a stick and break that lump. If the lump breaks up and there is a yellow color inside, then it's not decomposed. If you break it and it's still, it's nice and brown inside, it's a decomposed uh, gobar ki khat. So don't let people cheat you. Try and test it out yourself and get good decomposed because if you don't get decomposed and you are allowing decomposition to take place in your household then other insects will also come like termites and there is another insect which uh, is kind of like a uh, you know little bug kind of a thing and that one it, it just sits along with your gobar ki khad and when you add, add it to your plants then what happens is that it eats up the roots of your plants and your plants generally then they are on their way out. So soil is one very, very important factor. The other thing that we are emphasizing a lot nowadays is we make an enzyme. Now, instead of getting all the chemicals and all we are using organic feed. Okay, you have now made the base solution for your plant. So right. you made a nice bed for it to lie in and it's getting enough nutrition. 
but as it's growing it needs added in nutrition when it needs added nutrition what do you put in it then once again you'll resort to uh, npk or your mali will say dye ammonium la dijiye ya urea la dijiye so all that is a absolute no no let's make vasan vihar chemical free so for that it's nothing it's all something you can make at home what i do is that uh, whenever you have peels from your fruit everybody is eating fruit every day mm -hmm. so either your fruit peels or your vegetable peels or even flower petals now in, amongst flowers i prefer the ganda because ganda has pesticide uh, aawaz nahi aa rahi hai sorry it right. has pesticide properties mm -hmm. so that's very good And sorry could, could you be a little louder sorry is uh, acha sorry so any one of these three roses are also very good your rose petals are very very good you can use them also so about 150 grams of either or of these three vegetable peels or fruit peels or your um, flower petals you take that 150 grams of that 50 grams of desi gur now again this gur has to be something which has not been chemically treated and you, if you ask anybody they'll give you organic gur any uh, pansari will give you so this is known as desi gur so we want 50 grams of desi gur then one lemon one full lemon cut in half squeeze the juice add to this plus the you uh, even the peels have to go into it and one tablespoon of any old tree if you find any old tree in vasant vihar has plenty of old trees and if it's a people tree oh nothing like it take a tablespoon of the soil near the, uh, the this tree because when a tree is that big it has a lot of microbial microbes working around it and people is known to be the most friendly and it has lovely microbes around its uh, trunk so you can just take one tablespoon of that uh, mitti add it to this and take a 2 liter bottle a bottle not glass but plastic this is one place where you can recycle your plastic bottles you don't need to throw them especially if they are big pepsi uh, bottles or coke bottles the 1 liter ones which you are forced to have in your house if you have guests etc use that bottle fill this up with about 750 to 800 grams of water and fill it up and then just uh, tighten the uh, screw i mean screw the top very tight you will find after the third day that this will uh, develop a gas inside so you have to un uh, you know screw the top and very slowly let the gas escape out otherwise it will just fly into your face so that much gas this is okay. almost like making wine you will believe it believe me when you see the end result so every third day you open it let the gas go close it again and keep it aside keep it in a shady place i leave it in my kitchen it does not smell there's nothing happening there put a sticker on top of it and write down the date as you keep opening this screw every third day fourth day you will find after two weeks there's no gas left so what you are going to have is just this uh, thing fermenting after two months the whole sediment will settle down and you'll find a clear liquid on top strain that now this is a wonderful enzyme wonderful absolutely i swear by it my plants are lush and happy because of this enzyme because this can be given even in the month of may june any time and i give it round the year and this builds the immunity of the plant so the plant is strong you won't find insects coming anywhere near it if you find insects also take a capful of this solution in one liter of water and spray it on where the uh, where the insect is and you'll find it doesn't like coming back to it because this it's absolutely inhospitable for this uh, for the insect so this enzyme is something which is organic and which we like to use 
then you also get a lot of other organic uh, material now in the market there is another one which is a seaweed extract one of the brand names is biovita but there are lots of them which have a seaweed extract as the base this has a lot of uh, nitrogen so what you get from your chemicals nitrogen phosphorus and potash these are the three main ingredients that are required for the development of any plant and you will find that your enzyme has this and your this biovita has it and also all the micronutrients which are required like all of us we need our basic carbohydrates vitamins and proteins so plants need npk nitrogen phosphorus and potash but apart from that we need our vitamins we have our vitamins then we have other you know micronutrients that we keep having in our multivites and all that similarly for the plant also so this biovita has all the micronutrients like carbon like sulfur manganese magnesium magnesium is very important for your plant the greenness that you see in your plants is partly due to the uh, magnesium so all this is available in this biovita if you keep you know uh, working on these two you can have a very very good garden now i can go on and on because this is a it's subject true. this is very close so fascinating and there are so many uh, comments here about uh, the soil because if your soil is good then the plants are healthy so this is an easy way to learn how to create our own uh, soil so please go on please go ahead uh well now uh, when you are uh, you know the better way to make your own soil is one is using your own uh, home composting right and the other thing is that you can not throw the soil from the pots don't ever throw the soil from your pots which have been used mali will say khatam ho gaya ye to kharab ho gaya soil kabhi kharab nahi ho sakta hai kaise kharab ho sakta hai wo nahi kharab hoga wo nature ki cheez hai wo nahi kharab hota hai usme sirf nutrients deplete ho gaye because that plant has taken away whatever it needed but what you need to do is that put it back and let it be solarized basically it will be nice if you can make a little heap of it on your terrace on your balcony and let it be solarized dhoop dikhate hain na hum log chawal ko bhi gehun ko bhi sab ko dhoop dikhate to isko bhi agar hum dhoop dikhaye aur isko achhi tarah sukha ke phir isko rakh le aur jab kabhi bhi hame soil chahiye hota hai to isko use kare along with the now the nutrients which are nutrients are your cow dung your neem khali now neem khali is uh, the left over after the nimoli mein se jab tel nikal dete hain neem oil nikal dete hain uska jo husk reh jata hai wo husk jo hai usme bahut nitrogen reh jata hai usko sukha ke commercially it's available okay. so you don't have to prepare it you can you know have uh, you can buy that same with bone meal bone meal is crushed bones again which is uh, commercially available now many people to many people this is abhorrent they don't like uh, to have uh, uh, you know bone mm-hmm. meal so mm-hmm. there are other ways of adding phosphorus to your soil did you know that banana peel is full of phosphorus so don't throw your banana peels when you've had a banana cut it into small small pieces and put it in your pots and flowering pots particularly because your flowering and fruiting require lot more of phosphorus and potash potash is rock kuch bhi aapne havan kiya ho ya ghar mein kuch pattiyan jalayi ho ya jo bhi agar we are not allowed to burn leaves and all that right now but uh, if you can you, wherever you get rock collected your doban will have it and uh, we all run to the doban only and we get rock from her you know okay. she's it's very good to use that so you are using all these uh, things for your uh, covering up the uh, nitrogen phosphorus and potash in your soil so you can make your soil up jo ye soil aapne uh, solarize karke rakha hai 
इसके ऊपर आप ये सब कुछ ऐड कर सकते हैं बायोविटा है या आपका एंजाइम का सोल्यूशन बना के उसमें डाल दीजिए या राख डाल दीजिए केले के छिलके डाल दीजिए सी दिस इज वाई से इफ यू मेक योर ओन कॉम्पोस्ट योर कॉम्पोस्ट विल हैव द पेल्स ऑफ ऑल काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स विच हैव वेरियस प्रॉपर्टीज इन दैट Alu has a lot of uh, potassium, uh, phosphorus in it. Alu ke chilke hai, pyaaz ke chilke. Each one has a strong uh, base, some chemical or the other in it. So when you make your own compost, you don't need anything else. People are growing things in their own compost. They don't add anything else. Also, you can of course add the soil. It's always good because soil has a lot of uh, nutrition in itself. and more than anything microbial activity how does your compost also develop because of microbes it's the microbes that are eating it and decomposing it so all that will come into your soil and once that comes it it enriches your soil so this is a good way to make your own soil and uh, what else how can we actually is it suitable what you have just Uh, told us can we do that uh, in a pot on the terrace because quite a few people have uh, balconies yes. which they are using as uh, for growing flowers and vegetables so can you make this compost in uh, small plastic pots or do you need of a of course okay no you know uh, one thing of course you can take any plastic balti mm -hmm. and you can line it uh, with uh, some old leaves and then there after start piling up whatever is the leftovers from your uh, now in that what will, what is going to happen is that your peels etc will give a lot of uh, liquid okay now your compost should not just be too liquidy or too dry okay. so you have to keep that balance so the moment you find it's too liquidy add some uh, sukhi patti you can even add newspaper to it but not the uh, uh, ones which have a, you know that uh, film on it or any your carbon newspaper the, where the newspaper. there's just newsprint okay not the ones with an ad, ad and the colored ones not those okay. but the, even you if you have got some cardboard in the house all that is decomposable you can add all that to give you this balance और कुछ नहीं तो यू कैन गो टू द मंदिर साउथ इंडियन मंदिर एंड दे विल गिव यू नारियल का छिलका वो नारियल के छिलके को कैंची लेके बारीक बारीक काट के उसमें डाल दीजिए वो भी आपके सॉइल को कंडीशन करेगा ठीक है सॉइल में हमको पोरोसिटी चाहिए एंड माइक्रोबियल एक्टिविटी चाहिए बिकॉज वॉट अ प्लांट रिक्वायर्स फ्रॉम द सॉइल इज वन एयर टू ब्रीथ एंड water so water h2o when it goes near the roots it gives oxygen also to the roots also the plant absorbs from the air also and within the air spaces in the soil so right. your uh, soil has to be porous so mm -hmm. all this coco peat and all this uh, nariyal ka chilka will give nariyal ka wo, uh, wo jo jhoot hai that will give you porosity to your even if you add a bit of charcoal charcoal is very good lakdi ka koila or we are going chura. to be heading towards the dhobi now very soon <laughs> to get no, all <laughs> the dhobi will have a lot of uh, patthar ka koila okay. we have lot of lakdi ke koile ka tal in indra market okay. and we can request him to give you the you know leftover jo niche ka base reh jata hai chura chura Mm -hmm. वो आपको दे देगा एक रुपए किलो चार रुपए किलो वट एवर एंड यू कैन एड दैट टू योर सॉइल नाउ दिस इज कार्बन यू नो इन ऑल दिस द कार्बन कंटेंट इन योर सॉइल इज इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज दीज माइक्रोबियल माइक्रोब्स लाइक कार्बन सो एन इट हैज टू बी नेचुरल इट हैज टू बी ऑर्गेनिक सो एनीथिंग विच लिवस एंड डाइज in your soil that is organic so you can you must add some charcoal also to your soil all this you must add and a little bit of gravel you can get some 
We used to get Badarpur, but now the sand mining is not permitted, so Badarpur is not there. But if you can get some amount of gravel, chote chote uh, ke, inch ke tukde ho, ya kuch chote pieces ho, go bhi aap add kar sakte ho into your soil. So that gives a lot of porosity. So water should just be, when you pour water into your pot, within 30 seconds, the water should drain out. Okay. If it doesn't, that means too much water, less air. So the uh, plant will not be able to breathe for too long because uh -huh. there's, it's full of water. So it needs H2O as well as oxygen. Both these things are very important for the roots to get. So add porosity to your soil also. Um, the type of soil which we have for outdoor plants, is it the same? Uh, I mean, the constitution, is it the same for indoor plants as well? Or is there a difference between outdoor and indoor plants? No, not really. I prefer, I use both. I use the same for both. Okay. Except that uh, I do repotting of my indoor plants twice a year. So that they get fresh soil, which right. you must do because you're again feeding them some new material. Otherwise, they can be short of nutrition. But if you keep giving your enzymes also, you'll find that the plant will keep growing. But the soil constitution is more or less the same. Outdoors, you can be a little more adventurous, but indoor plants will require a lot of porosity because they're indoors, so the water must drain out fast. Otherwise, the soil will be too, will have wet feet, as we call it, and roots don't like wet feet. So when we pour water and there's too much water in the dish, um, yeah. the water has run out. So it, you shouldn't have that situation? No, that means you have to add a lot of, um, say, ko kacha koila, okay. broken little uh, pieces, you know. Uh, unfortunately, the sand that we get in Delhi, the Jamna sand, is too thin. It's too uh, minute. So it doesn't really add to the porosity so much. But since we have no other choice, we should take jamna sand and chano it with a chhanni. Okay. The normal machhar dani wali chhanni se chano ge, to thode mote pieces upar ko aa jate hai. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I, I also find that you get gravel um, from some in uh, you know some of the foundries outside the foundries or you also get uh, clinker rock i'm forgetting the name khangar jo bathrooms ke base pe dale jate hain khangar ka patthar hote hain wo hum log dalte hain bathroom ke base pe wo aapko lado sarai aur mehroli ki taraf jaye to wahan pe bahut logon ke paas usko tod ke Uske chote chote pieces up add karye. Ye porosity jab tak nahi hoga, then there's too much water. Check the hole of your pot. Okay. Sometimes the pot, the hole in the pot also gets clogged. Over time it gets clogged. So put a, a bamboo stick and then just, you know, uh, at, at the base of it, just put the bamboo stick and keep uh, turning it up, uh, matlab, up niche karo, to wo kul jayega. जो कुछ भी जाम कर रहा है वो खुल जाएगा एकदम से पानी निकल आएगा आपका एंड दिस हैपेंस इन समर पर्टिकुलरली आवर सोइल स्टार्ट्स कॉम्पैक्टिंग यस सो सो वी हैव टू बी केयरफुल अबाउट दैट बिकॉज़ एस सून एस द मॉनसून्स कम देयर बी एक्सेस वाटर एंड दिस कैन गेट ब्लॉक्ड ओके um i would have asked more questions but there are lots of questions on the chat so with your permission let me just read that and yeah please then you can answer those so, um, this is from Sunicha Anand. How to start kitchen gardens on the terrace floor of the house? This is from Sunisha. Uh, Dashi, uh, do you want to, Sunisha, do it on the floor of your terrace or you uh, want I to do it in just, containers? I think she means, means uh, on the terrace. On, on the, the terrace. terrace. In pots. Yeah. So, I'm growing a lot of vegetables on my terrace. And there are long kishtis you get, these plastic kishtis or even the cement kishtis. Use this kind of uh, uh, soil that I have told you. You can grow bindi, you can grow palak, you can grow 
even I am growing ghee also on my terrace. Tori, lots of tori, and uh, bengan, hari mirch, shimla mirch. You can grow all these on the kishtis. If you want to grow karelas, all what you need to do is just find a place, a jali, jahan pe jali ho, and ye karele ki bel us pe chad jayegi, and you will keep getting uh, and tomato. I get such a great uh, crop of tomato. I don't need to buy it for months, literally. And cherry tomatoes in winter are, of course, absolutely gorgeous because all your herbs you can grow on there. And just in pots, you don't have to bother about any other container. Just your normal 10 inch pots, 12 inch pots. Usme karlo or kishtiyo me the vines, jaise beans, etc. I have a question. I have got one a kagzi uh, lemon plant. I've got kagzi lemon plant and it is there. Fruits are there for last two months, but they are not ripening. So let me know something about it. Please, thank you. Uh, yeah, but you see which variety it is because I've also got one gandraj in my garden. And uh, it normally remains green only, but if you touch it, it's soft. So you know that it opak gaya hai. So kagzi lemon ko bhi aap dekhiye. Otherwise, lemon ki to bhot feeding hoti hai. It's uh, twice to thrice a year that you have to feed your lemons. Then it gives you good fruit. But you already have the fruit. And it could be shortage of potash. So if you Shamaji, can find some a... rak. Shamaji, there's a related question. May I just cut in? Yeah, I yeah. Have, I've had this, uh, of course, first of all, I must tell you, it's been a learning experience listening to you. Um, I have a lemon tree on my terrace in a huge yeah. gamla. And uh, every year it blooms with flowers and I feel very optimistic. But very soon the flowers fall off and there's nothing. Since eight bar, I have in five years, one bar, one nimbu utra tha, bas. Achha, the one year, the thing you have to be careful about is when it is flowering, you stop watering completely. Okay. You know, Mali will say, Are teeth din hoge, char din hoge. the plant will tell you when it wants water. The and leaves water. will droop. When oh. the leaves droop, water it thoroughly. Okay. Then withdraw watering again. Okay. Then the fruit will set in. Achha, here again, I want to make one point is that for the flowers to fertilize, you need pollinators. So you have to make the environment of your terrace such with your enzymes and with organic things. You will find that suddenly you have so many pollinators. Achha, by, by the way, COVID has done us a great favor. No airplanes, no traffic. I have so many pollinators in my garden. So you have to attract those pollinators. Mm -hmm. Only when they will come and they will fertilize your fruit. Right. Okay. But water, ma ma manage the water. Yeah, that was a question which I was going to ask you, but there are so many questions on the chat. I would like to just ask you that. Uh, going back to the kishti, uh, is plastic kishti okay or do you yeah. always need to have? No, no. Because you hear fine. That, I mean, the Malis often say that plastic wale may. Because that's not the case. Okay. The thing you have to watch out is watering. Okay. See, watering is a skill. Watering right. is a complete skill. Don't just pick up the pipe and water. Look at the uh, soil. Is it wet? Then if it is dry from the top, then just put your finger in and see if it's wet inside. If it's wet inside, do not water. Ubahar 40 degrees bhi hoga. But plant ke uh, roots ke paas pani hai. So do not give it. You oh. have to be very uh, judicious about this. Each plant is like a child. So don't generally take the pipe and water up. <laughs> so watering. I think we, will, we will need to have a separate program just about watering. Watering, like yes. We, we've had about soil. I think we need to have one program about yes. that. How yes. to water plants. But um, generally, this is the, the thumb rule is just scratch the surface of the soil and see. If it is moist, do not water. What the plant requires is moisture. 
not wet feet. Right. Please, okay. I, I want to emphasize on this. Achha. Because we kill more plants by our, through our love by watering. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, this, this is from Devyani Bhatnagar. We yeah. don't have the top soil when we work with terrace gardens. What's the best alternative that we have? I think you... Top soil yeah. is there. In your pot stills, the okay. soil that you have made for your pots is as good as your top soil. Okay. So over time, it will condition even better and better if you don't throw this to uh, soil. Okay. This is from Meghna uh, Sankhala. Can we prepare compost in a plastic bin? Any precautions or measures that are required? Huh. Yeah, you know, you get these bins and you get them online also called true bins. They have a tap also to it. So when you are making your compost in this, of course, the base has to be lined. So line it with some uh, leaves that do not decompose very easily like mango, like eucalyptus. They do not decompose or bamboo for that matter. Line it with that. And then you start putting leaves first and then your uh, peels and all from the house. Okay. Now the ones which have the tap in between after say four days, if you open the tap, you'll find a liquid coming out. Mm -hmm. This is known as a leachate. Leach. L-E-A-C-H-A-T-E. -E. This leachate, if you dilute it with 10 times water, is very good for your plants. Okay. Okay, so it takes away all the extra water. But mm -hmm. if you do not have this tap and mm -hmm. there's moisture building up, as I told you, put dry things into it and ma maintain this balance between wet and dry. If you find that you are, uh, you do, uh, it's uh, too dry, then put some lassi in it. Now, lassi is my, again probiotic. It has got bio. Uh, so please put lassi in it or dahi in it and you'll find the decomposition starting very fast. Okay, that's a very, very handy tip to know because if, if your soil does become dry when you're doing composting, then what do you do to... Yeah, then you add. Okay. Um, Sunisha again is asking for, can we have a written composition of the home prepared compost, please? So perhaps that... That, that at a later uh, time we can request. I can, I can just send you an email or something and you can WhatsApp it to everybody or I can put it on a WhatsApp thing and send it to Sanjana. So you can, you know, sure. circulate it. Great. Um, now this is from Nidhi. Uh, please, yeah. if you could give the composition of both in an email, very grateful. It's the same. It's the same uh, thing. Uh, this is from Madhu. Okay. Meghna again. Okay, what about the smell? She's asking about the plastic ha, ha. again. What about the smell? smell I had foul yeah. smell once when I tried. Now, I'll tell you why you got that foul smell. You might even get insects in it. Now, first and foremost, what I forgot, really, that was my fault. I forgot to tell you is every third day, you have to turn it up and down. So that means you're oxygenating it. You're introducing oxygen into it. When you introduce oxygen, then there'll be no smell. There'll be no kiras. And even if there are kiras, they are mm -hmm. basically fly. Flies ki kide hai wo. Fly ban ke unki life 48 hours ki hai. So wo usi mein fir mar jayenge. So wo organic ho jayega. So okay. there is nothing to worry about kiras also in it. But you must turn it up and down. Then okay. it doesn't smell. Right. If you don't do it and do it religiously, it will smell. Okay. Uh, this is from Gurinder Bedi. Could you suggest plants, vegetables that are easy to grow in the weather conditions in Delhi? Uh, the ones which I mentioned I uh, before, that, yeah. like mm -hmm. all your leafy vegetables. Okay. You know, uh, right now in this weather, you can plant bhindi, you can plant palak, you can, of course, pudina is something which is perennial. So, pudina is excellent. Any friend who has pudina, just bring cuttings from that friend and put it in a pot and you'll always have pudina. In winter, it'll look as if it's dying down, but don't worry. It will revive again as soon as the summer comes up. Then, uh, as I said, bengan. Bengan is very good. 
uh, hari mirch you don't have to ever buy hari mirch in your house because with the kind of produce you get from your garden two gamlas also will give you lots these are all very easy to grow very easy leafy vegetables are very easy to grow okay again a uh, related question from uh, suvira das is which herbs would grow in pots on the rooftop i think you oh you won't believe it my thyme is still going on it's now 3 years old the thyme wow. it's the thyme. not it doesn't die down marjoram goes on then basil goes on basil gets flowers on it when it gets that uh, seed pod growing if you keep breaking it off then mm. this plant will survive okay. but the moment a plant makes a seed the work of that plant is over it's now pro it has created its future so those seeds will fall in that pot and new plants will come out of it so you know you keep getting basil also and italian basil then lemon basil does exceedingly well i have lots of lemon basil i got my driver to bring me peppermint from up and peppermint is growing then uh, i have of course one uh, tej patta ka plant tree uske jo leaves hain hum usse palav banate hain usi se then um, lots of herbs all your winter herbs do well in pots in fact they work much better so these winter herbs which you're talking about is it better to grow them from a seed or is it better to grow them from a sapling uh if you get saplings which you do some of the nurseries do give you these saplings they're very good mm -hmm. much better okay but otherwise they do fine with the seeds also except that the winter herbs many of them like parsley etc uh, by the way parsley is also going on i have kale which is so nutritious mm -hmm. that is uh, again 3 years old right so these plants don't actually die out you just have to protect them a little bit in a cute summer like we had 48 degrees and all then you just protect them so parsley etc the seeds when you put them you have to put them somewhere when it's a little cold like december then by february the new ones come up and uh, i grow strawberries on my terrace given to me by ratan didi she is a great strawberry grower and uh, i have i still have the mother plants okay. and then they they produce their babies we plant those also so strawberries lots of strawberries on the terrace all these can be grown okay in the summer do you need to um, cover the plants a little bit the especially yes. the herbs you need to yeah a little bit of green net will be yeah. very beneficial is that for all the vegetables and uh, herbs or no it... not for the summer vegetables they like the heat they will do well even But, at 28 uh, degrees on the yeah, yeah 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 they do they do fine but yeah if you give a slight protection to them actually what is the best thing for plants is the more you grow them if you have a whole lot of them then they form their mm -hmm. own ecology and they support each other Okay. the other thing you must do is when you are growing a tall plant like you are growing a nimbu and it's tall and the rest of the soil is khali put pudina under it that way you conserve the soil and you have done double potting so pudine ka pudina and nimbu ka nimbu so why waste the space okay i have a question sorry i have a question i just want to revise your pepsi bottle uh, compost you had said that we have to put flower petals in it and then 50 g of desi gur and then yeah. one one uh, full nimbu. lemon nimbu and uh, water 750 ml of water yes and, and uh, people have to shake it and people ki mitti don't forget people ki mitti dal ke and then we have to keep it for how many days two months two months we have to keep it yeah and, and you won't know yeah. did, did you realize ki covid ke ho ke bhi 2 mahine ho gaye we don't realize how time flies and then how to use it you know ha uh, how to use then, it then jo uh, pepsi ka wo dhakkan uh, hai take hmm. one uh, lid of that of the solution in one liter of water and spray it all over your plants 
Um, I just wanted to touch very briefly about your expertise um, in bonsai and, uh, you know, some of us have bonsai plants which we buy when they, you know, when we are looking for plants, but then we don't know how to look after them, how much water to give them, how to give them nutrition. So I know it's a very extensive uh, topic a topic in itself but I know if you could yeah. briefly <laughs> just give us a little bit of how to um, see bonsai to, again to look after bonsai plants bonsai yeah. again are made of many species no so you have to be very clear on your species okay there are a lot of them which uh, normal watering is fine then there are some which are succulents like the jade or okay. you Many people even make out of uh, adeniums, which actually is not a bonsai material. But in Thailand, they are making a lot of bonsais with, uh, even with adeniums. Now, these succulent ones, again, you have to be careful of watering later. Right now, in summer, you can water them every day. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, many uh, watering is like all normal plants. But again, water must come out of the hole. And you should be able to see that the water is coming out of the hole. Secondly, don't keep bonsais on the floor, on a cement floor or on a pakka floor because the heat will go up. So they don't like that. The roots get heated up because the uh, pot is very shallow. Okay. So it's too close to the... So you have to raise it up, put it on a stand or just take two bricks and put it on top of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, or what I normally do is I overturn a Kali Gamla and I put it on top of that. Because the Kali Gamla also has uh, a hole in it. So some, and it's also cooling. The uh, Gamla is always cooling because it evaporates, the water evaporates, so then it, it's much cooler. So you can do that. So don't ever, also don't put it on Mitti because the roots will go straight down. Then before you know, roots have traveled through the hole into the ground. So when you lift up your pot, then the plant is bound to get hurt. You know, okay. because some part of it will die out the moment mm -hmm. you pull it out of this. Right. So once again, you have to just be careful of where you put your bonsai. Put mm -hmm. it where you get the morning sun and if it's protected through the day. Because it requires protection. It's a small plant. So it requires protection. From the extreme sun. 12 to 4 is when it needs protection. Okay. Thank you so very much. I think we are almost out of time. It's been. I think there are a few more questions. Uh, um, there is another question. Uh, can we use karela seeds, bindi seeds, after drying them to grow these vegetables? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm not too sure about these. Okay. No. If you, because they, uh, you know, all seeds have to go through a resting period also. Everything okay. that grows uh, okay. also has a resting period. Many don't like the basil and tulsi. Wo immediately get them, but still, wo under soil mein thode din ke liye to aram se rest karte. So, so I think so a couple isle, of people have asked where to source good seeds from. Uh, I normally always recommend Balaji. He is at uh, Kapashera Mood. And uh, he has very good stuff there. Otherwise, then you go to uh, Achini. Achini Wale Road Pe. There are uh, lots of uh, garden shops. Garden Hut is very good. Yeah, Balaji is not a nursery. Balaji is a garden shop. Okay. Right. And he gets, he has excellent seeds, he has all the cards, everything. And he has BioVita, which is the uh, seaweed extract. How much BioVita has to be used in each pot? About a teaspoon. Okay. And every 15 days or one month? Yes, yes. Every 15 days will be excellent. Okay, thank you. Balaji is at the Kapasheda mode. If you go towards Chavla, and you take the, the road towards Chavla. Then um, after the, uh, what is this road known as? Um, this is Bijwasan. Bijwasan wala road. Uspe aap jab ho, you come to the cross, the first crossroads. 
वहां पे आपको एक मिठाई की अग्रवाल स्वीट्स दिखेगा उसके साथ ही बालाजी की दुकान है राइट कैन आई हैव अ क्विक क्वेश्चन श्योर प्लीज गो हेड श्यामा जी दैट वॉज एक्सलेंट नॉट द फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम हियरिंग यू बट यू नो इट्स ऑलवेज इन्फॉर्मेटिव थैंक यू थैंक यू what is the best thing to do for the lawn in this heat in this heat all you can do is water it yeah. and mow it regular mowing and regular watering nothing else nothing no it's too hot to be feeding it or anything right now not even compost no ha huh, compost you can compost put why not okay. why not compost okay. is fine okay anything organic is fine any more questions yeah i have a question i'd asked earlier about the banana peels you would probably get ants with it and also no no fine. no you don't get ants with it make uh, cut them small and dig them into the soil oh because you know i put the banana peels out to dry uh ah. for making it powder and then spr- sprinkling it <laughs> and the whole place was covered with ants Ah no no no! You if you put them in your pots, nothing happens. And the other question I got is some sometimes you have a lot of ants around the plants, you know. फिर वो चींटी लग जाती है जड़ को. What does ah, one ah. do about that? Ah, uh, I believe uh, what my Mali does is he puts kapur, camphor. Can we put gamexin? No no please no gamexin because it it will destroy the soil. Can okay. I ask one question, uh, please? I want. Sorry. Okay. Somebody suggested put a pinch of boric powder around the plants. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Boric powder is also fine, but I'd rather do something organic like kapoor. Okay. What if you put lassan ke chilke and pyaaz and all? Yeah. Lassan, if especially if you have rotted lassan, na, kabi kabi niche ka portion saara gal jata hai. Usko mm-hmm. kabi mat phenkiye. उसको आप पानी में अच्छी तरह मिक्सी में चला के पानी के साथ और फिर उसको डाइल्यूट करके प्लांट्स में डालिए बहुत अच्छा कोई पेस्ट नहीं आएंगे ओके कैन आई 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 वन वन क्वेश्चन 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 प्लीज या वांट टू नो नो जस्ट दैट कैन कैन आस्क लिक्विडाइज peels and collection and put it into the pots yes okay. you can do that you run it through the mixer dilute it make a nice solution of it and pour it on to your plants absolutely but, but how frequently go... we have to use this kitchen uh, compost how frequently we should put it kitchen compost people are doing it every day instead every day of watering they are giving yeah yeah they are giving every day also No, but what happens but, is when you put that, when you put yeah. that, there is a very funny kind of a layer which falls on. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, so how do Because, you avoid that? Because you know, to avoid it, you have to uh, again gurai karke usko mitti mein mila dijiye. Acha. पर आपका फंगस नहीं लगेगा अगर आप ये सब डालेंगे बिकॉज़ नहीं 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 लगता है फंगस नहीं लगेगा अगर आप सोयल के अंदर डाल दोगे तो ये जो माइक्रो माइक्रोब्स हैं सॉरी ये फिर उसको डिकम्पोज करेंगे दे कम अप टू द सर्फेस एंड दे डिकम्पोज ऑल दिस थैंक वाइड स्पीशीज पाम में कौन सा वाला पाम है बट ऑल प्रोटेक्शन आप उसको धूप से बचाइए और वॉटरिंग कितनी करनी है जब भी आप वॉटरिंग करेंगे भर के पानी दीजिए और फिर उसके बाद सॉइल चेक करिए अगर सॉइल में मॉइस्चर है पानी मत दीजिए अगर नहीं है तो फिर आप पानी दे दीजिए थैंक यू वेरी मच जस्ट वन क्विक कैन आई आस्क वन क्विक क्विक वन पॉसिबल यस श्योर गो अहेड जस्ट आई थिंक द वॉइस वाज साउंड वाजंट क्लियर बट जस्ट इन योर ऑन द टेरेस ऑन द गार्डन कैन वी पुट यूरिया Uh, a little bit no i won't re- ever recommend urea only on the grass no 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 not at all oh okay. you are ruining the environment 
Oh, you will okay. see that no, you know, the friendly uh, insects won't come to your garden. The, oh, so okay. the whole ecology of your, uh, of your uh, area will be destroyed. Okay, if the moment you know. use chemicals, you will hmm. find even the friendly insects don't come near your house. Oh, because these mice are always recommending. And have seen so many butterflies? We've yeah. never seen so many butterflies. That is That's true. Right. That is so true. true. Thank um, you. I think that is the end of the session. Uh, Mrs. Balbir, thank you so very much for... You're most welcome. I hope it's been useful. Presence. It has been very useful. And um, I think many of us uh, would like, if it is possible, to have a lesson with you, how to prepare the soil, how to water the plants, so many how to do. So uh, what's the best way to do it? How, how can we have you do some classes for us? We can do it on Zoom only. I think it's a lovely idea. I oh, that keep, would be uh, great. I mean, if you could just uh, have a Zoom session where you, you know, where we see how to actually uh, practically do the composting and how to water the plants. I think our members would be absolutely overjoyed if, if we can. Uh, I don't know how to show it because... Uh, where my compost, uh, I can show you the, the end result, what okay. the compost should look like. Sure, sure. And then I can explain to you what, what the, you know, how to go about it okay. in a more detailed manner. Like right. today I've just told you how to just yes. put things, but uh, we can go into it in a greater detail. Right. I mean, for many of us who are uh, new to gardening, yeah. We would love to learn how to get better at it. And I think okay. having the right type of soil, as you so emphasized, is so important. And yeah. doing it the organic way, because I think yes. it's, it's very no. easy to, um, you know, just uh, use these uh, chemicals and they give you instant results. Absolutely. But, uh, but if you do it the organic way, I think it's, it's beneficial in the long run. So Absolutely. Lovely. You know, you'll find it, you'll see the results yourself. Professor, Things are more lush. Composting. Okay. Uh, one last question uh, is how uh, does one become a member of the All India Kitchen, Kitchen uh, Association? Uh, we have Rashmi Gupta, who's uh, part of our group right now. She's right. a convener. Right. of the kitchen garden if you can manage to get her phone number she'll make you a member of it great so Shama. who would like to uh, become Shama. members if you can Shama. contact us at the club yeah, yeah Rashmi will... sure Basan Bihar club is also composting so they okay can... wonderful so you can go and have a look at the club yeah they are doing a lot of composting yes and Rashmi and D block she is doing so much of composting that very often when I run short, I buy from her. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. Um, I yeah, know. Amiri, uh, I, have to, I have to agree with uh, Sanjana that you had the audience absolutely enthralled, uh, people listening with so much uh, interest. And uh, we would definitely like to have another session with you. We'll see when uh, it would Most be welcome. to you and we can schedule. I must say that as soon as you talked about the benefits of uh, the ash being a good fertilizer, about seven, eight people left and uh, they must have gone to the nearby dhobi. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, they missed the rest of the very, very uh, uh, interesting session. Well, I have a Thank question, you. a last one. Where can one buy the compost which is being made in? Basant Vihar, can we buy from the club or something? Yes, no, you can buy. I don't know if the club is selling, but Rashmi in D Block is selling. So, could Sanjana? No, no, no Shama. Do you share ah. her numbers? No, no, there isn't any at the moment. Acha. Okay. So, whenever you're ready, maybe it would be a good idea to give it to the Basant Vihar members. Right. Yeah, so one can do okay. that. Or may, I don't know if the club is also can, can help in procuring some. Uh, so, but I definitely want to make my making compost. Its own compost. Um, the club secretary, Mr. Rajinder Magu, is very passionate about yeah, yeah, all the yeah. making uh, of I, I saw it when we came for gardening. I saw it when we came for judging the club. The club has got the first prize in their uh, garden also, Shama. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. 
from our kitchen garden the club has a balti i think okay. how to make compost in a balti some practical lessons would be good and this yeah. is called truth is called a truth basket is it on amazon true true, true, basket. true basket true basket true basket true okay. bins or true true bin i think it's called true bin t r u b b for bombay i n chama chama ha also talk about the khamba that you get here yeah there is also this uh, instead of a plastic one you also have a uh, terracotta khamba which has three portions to it yes yes i've and seen that but that's you know, it very also good. has a tap and so also can we have this where you can take out the liquid so could yeah. we as a follow up have some of these things posted where we can get them because i do want to do composting i do a bit of it with just kele ka chilka Uh, which i use and uh, you know orange peels and i was reading up something similar with orange peels and garlic etc on the youtube there are a lot of videos i've been watching oh i can give you dozens and dozens of recipes for organic uh, yeah. pesticides and for organic correct meat. but i, I would like just maybe, tell us the tip maybe yeah, you can give it sanjana and sanjana can give it to the uh, to the members yes, we can do yes. that i think that yeah. Place and email it to us. That will yes. be okay. Yeah, yeah that one can do. We can mail it to the members. We could get, you know, how to do composting in pots or something or this khamba because you know when you're starting off, you don't want to go and invest too much. You want to first see if you are good at doing it. So the maybe the balti method works well initially, but oh, then the you know maybe the khamba is very nice and very and how easy expensive. Is yeah, it? it is very good for the. I mean, it's a very eco-friendly thing. Also, it has a tap from where you can take out that liquid. Yeah. That leach it. But yeah. how That's expensive leach it. is it? The liquid is very good as a fertilizer for your yes. plants. But how is it called? You know, what exactly is it called? This khamba. What is it's the actual called khamba. <laughs> but how? It's but I'll is give you the phone you number. Liquid. Yeah. And uh -huh. next time yeah. I'll give you the phone number of the lady in Basant Punch who who sells these kambas. But have yeah, you any idea right. of the? Can, can you give it to us just now only, please? Uh, What is the okay. estimated price? I think about eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred to twenty four hundred. Yeah. And and how many months of compost can it take? So it it starts, uh, you know, your compost starts uh, uh, getting done in two months in the beginning, and thereafter you'll find it's a much faster process because the yeah. microbes are already there. Yes, and one can add some newspaper and absorb that liquid if possible. Yeah, yeah, newspaper or even uh, nariyal ka uh, uh, chilka, yeah, or nariyal yeah. ka pus jo hota hai. Uh, shama newspaper will also take away a little bit of the smell as well yeah right but uh, but some uh, i read somewhere that you can even sprinkle some baking soda or some meetha soda no 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 please that is different wo oh, giving that is a full recipe i will tell you how to take care of your plants we can have a session only on that Okay. Uh, phone you number, know, please, of the lady. Now, enough, ha. Enough now, will you write it down? The phone yes, number. Yes, I'm writing it down. Please tell. Nine eight. Yes. Nine one eight. Double five. Four five eight. This is for the khamba. This is this lady's name is Priyanka. I don't have her surname. So it comes in various sizes. Ah uh, no, I think it's only in one size. I'm not sure if there are other sizes as well. Chamaji, and also, tr please try online. Online, ask for terracotta kama composters. Yes, I already checked uh, Amazon, and they don't have anything very nice. So I'll check with her. Thank you. I just Welcome. want to tell everyone that uh, this session has been recorded, and uh, anybody who is interested in uh, the video recording can get in touch with uh, Sanjana. Uh, unfortunately, because uh, you know there is always a limitation on the space available on the cloud, it will be there for three or four days. So uh, as soon as she sends the link, please have a look. Uh, it will not be available for uh, for too many days because then we have to uh, free up some space for the sessions okay thank you for that raj
Mrs. Balbir, thank you so very much. And Rashmi ji, thank you very much for your inputs as well. It's been such a fascinating evening and session. Um, we do hope uh, we get some more of your time and we do hope uh, uh, you can come back and uh, help us sure. uh, uh, demonstrate how to do other things related sure. to gardening. Sure. I'd love to be there. You, Thank you very much for joining. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Before we uh, part of the Vasant Pehar family. So, so <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so I'm available whenever you want me to oh, be that's, there. That's so very kind of you. Uh, Raj, Kira, before you sign off, do you want to announce tomorrow's session? Yes. Tomorrow we have uh, another interesting session, which is on cooking. Another... Um, another activity which many people picked up during the lockdown. Um, we've had a couple of WhatsApp groups uh, in Vasant Pehar uh, about cooking. So the session tomorrow is on cooking. How to cook a lasagna step by step. Uh, we are very fortunate to have uh, a cordon bleu chef, Aarti Gupta, who is going to be taking us through the steps. Um, the ingredients have been emailed to members. I'll also put it on the WhatsApp group. Um, it's just so that you know when she's talking about uh, the ingredients, uh, when she's talking about it, you have that in front of you. The method and the process, once uh, you've seen it, we will email it to you later. So please do join us at 7 p.m. tomorrow. We'll be cooking lasagna with Aarti Gupta. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mrs. Thanks. Balbi, bye -bye. if you could share your number also, please, that would be great. Ma'am, uh. I think, I think <laughs> we will, we will, <laughs> we will, okay. we will see about that.